In today's episode, I answer your questions submitted on Instagram, teach you a very cool and simple production of a playing card, and take you on a tour of the Maldives. And it all starts right now. Today we are traveling from one resort in the Maldives to another. It's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna answer some questions and maybe, I don't know, teach you a few things. I'm not really sure. Gonna have to wait and find out. Let's go. Have you gotten any ideas for the next knock release? It's a good question. I have loads of ideas, not only for the next one, but for the next 10 ones. I plan a year in advance and I try to make it so that, you know, the knocks have turned into such a brand. So instead of just changing the color, which is boring, we're gonna put stories and vibes to every single one of the decks. And what's really exciting is the My Knock project, which all of you have been taking part of. Hashtag my knock on Instagram and that is going to turn the knock brand into something really special. So I can't wait for that All right, this is exciting we're ready to board a seaplane to go to the other resort uh, But here's the question what trick or gimmick do you always have ready or set up wherever you go? Well great question I always have and I just put it in my bag right now, so I don't forget it. I have a thumb tip with me at all times with a mismade bill sitting in there ready for a switch. Now we are not obviously in America so I can't really do this so usually I would go for something different like a bill switch from one currency to the other. It's not that strong but it'll still work. But I'm going to film a video soon with the mismade bill. I actually got some made and I'm gonna release the mismade bill with sort of my take and what I do with it because I know a lot of people ask so I'm super excited about that. This is the mismade bill just in case you people are wondering hey, well, what is a mismade bill? This thing is the coolest thing on the planet. your favorite magician simple question it changes throughout time so so I'm very inspired by the performance aspect of magic and the magicians that perform well are usually my favorites right now Darren Brown is my top magician I think he is the performer of our generation and the shows that he performs are just so incredibly powerful and that's what you want in magic you don't want to have that usual magician humor and just be funny or do something really quick just to amuse the spectators so definitely watch Darren Brown's performances and just see how he exudes confidence and just everything that is magic that word magic you have to have it in you and present it to them all right we are ready to take the seaplane this is going to be an amazing experience trans maldivian airways with the hookup on this one this is going to be fun let's go This is awesome. Got a huge balcony terrace thing, whatever you want to call it. Got a huge, uh, I was gonna say huge ocean. Yes, it's a huge ocean I got over here. Sick view, but my favorite part, the tub. I will be here the rest of the day after I finish this video. Ugh, all right, it's too hot outside. Here's a question I get a lot. Can I have a free deck? Now the answer to all of these questions is unfortunately no, I cannot give out just free decks to everybody, even though I would like to. But with that being said, I can give you the best deal on cards and that's exactly what we are doing for the end of summer sale. Houseofplaincards.com, 
This Sunday, September 22nd, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, we are having the largest sale ever in the history of playing cards. I don't know if that's true, but it is uh, our largest sale to date. And the one thing I think everybody will be excited about is the last release window of the Fort Knock playing cards. Now, if you know about the Fort Knock playing cards, you know the story behind it and how the price increases every week. If you don't, check out this little excerpt from the video. Breaking news. We have just learned that what many have thought to be a myth for so many years does in fact exist. Recent reports are stating that bricks of the elusive gold playing cards were uncovered by Sergeant Major Nock after the war and are now locked away in a highly secured fort in Kentucky. The exact details of how this treasure was obtained or why it has been shrouded in secrecy may always remain a mystery. Experts agree that putting a value on such a piece of history is nearly impossible, but we are certain it will increase in value after its public release. This is the last chance that you will get to get this deck at the lowest price possible and then that's it we have no decks we're discontinuing this deck all right a little bit of fire around what inspired the knocks i answered this on a previous question and answer video but basically it was michael murray's effect it was an esp effect i bought this effect when i was like 10 years old and it looked exactly like knocks but it was esp cards you know wavy line plus sign circle square etc uh, and they were actually marked for the ESP card. So I had this idea, oh, this looks really cool as just a deck of cards. Nobody had done it until now, so I decided to do it. And then when I talked to Michael Murray about getting permission to mark the actual cards using his marking system, we implemented the marking system to now what you know as the Knock Originals. Favorite place in the world you've traveled to? Well, I've traveled a lot. I've traveled over 120 cities by this point, probably even more than that. My favorite places off the top of my head are Tokyo, Bangkok, uh, I love Melbourne. London is one of my favorite places. Dublin, I had a great time in Dublin. But speaking of which, I am planning to do a 2020 world tour. So comment down below where you are from and what city you live in and maybe I'll come lecture there. Could you give me some advice on how to make my slides more natural? So I think I could talk about this for, I could do a whole video on this. But basically I think the idea of making your slides natural or you as a whole natural, your performance, is to never break between you talking and just being natural to okay now I have to do a slight a lot of people go from talking and patter and having a good time to all right now I have to do a control and they come down and they they really put emphasis on I'm doing a move and sometimes you just have to learn to do it do a top change do a double get your get ready without looking down uh, and and doing your pinky count or whatever so that's the one of the biggest tips that I can give you for making it look natural practice without looking at down at your hands practice while doing the get readies or the moves by just talking and doing your natural patter action and that will make you more natural as a whole who is your favorite superhero? Batman by far. That's why I was so excited about the Super Knock V2 release. By the way, who should I do for the V3s? How do you decide which duplicate to keep in the deck while performing? Um, I include the Queen of Hearts with every Knock original because I think that is the most commonly named card, especially for females. So if you ask a female, hey, please name your favorite card or name a card off the top of your head, a lot of times it's going to be either Ace of Hearts or Queen of Hearts, but I found Queen of Hearts more often. If you were to give me a card off the top of your head, your favorite card, doesn't matter, just name it out loud and just make them say it quickly, Queen of Hearts will come out. So you could use that to your advantage uh, by using the duplicate. So Queen of Hearts it is for me. Can you teach me something okay all right that wasn't a question but that leads me into today's tutorial let's see what we're going to learn So today we are going to learn a pop-out move from palming a card and making it appear in between the hands. It looks like that. So it does look really nice. You could use it to produce a card or to, well, I guess just to produce a card, but it does look nice and it is easy to learn. So let's see the mechanics behind that. So first thing you're gonna need to learn is how to palm a card. Now I do have a few videos on palming a card, but this is a basic technique, a full palm like that. And it will be held between the pinky and the base of the th thumb right here. I shouldn't go into too much detail about that because you should know this. So that is the palm. Make sure you don't have the windows right there. So just practice this first if you haven't learned the palm yet and then we could get into actually the technique of it. So after you learn the palm you're going to need to learn how to 
buckle this card so that it is bowed upwards rather than downwards, okay? So this is usually how you're palming a card, which is downwards. Now, if you put pressure on the pinky and push with the base of the thumb, it'll pop out like that, okay? Now, from here, this is the starting position of the pop. This is what's gonna give it its force to come out, this bubble over here. Now you don't wanna do it too much because then it's gonna flash. You don't wanna do it too little because then you're not gonna have enough force. So just write and you know, I'll switch cards from time to time because once you do it a few times, then you're going to notice that the card gets flimsy. So it's best to just do it once and then have keep that stiffness of the card, okay? So you're here, you're bowing up, by just putting pressure on here and putting pressure on here, just basically squeezing these together like that. Boom, and now you're gonna release off the pinky. That's all you're doing. You're just releasing off the pinky so that it shoots off. All right, so here, here, and there. And it's shooting from here and off the pinky. And then all you're doing is you're just catching it with the other hand. Okay, now sometimes you gotta be careful because it's gonna hit this this hand because it does tend to go down and then out. So you wanna lift your hand a little bit before doing it so you can really catch it at the fingertips like that. But that's really all it is. So again, here, pop up, hold your hands together, lift up a little bit, shoot, and then come down with the hand and catch it. Boom, right there. All right, so before the production, I like to kind of do one of these. Uh, I also do a hand washing procedure that I'll show you right now. So it looks like this, like this, and then like that to produce the card. So here I'm showing the hand empty, here I'm showing this hand empty, and then boom, the card is produced. And how this works is by literally taking it from the palm, and you're gonna place it into another palm that I've taught on this channel, which is a gambler's cop, by literally taking the card, showing the left hand empty, placing this in position to bend your finger and gambler's cop it like that. Okay, from here, show the left hand, place it in position. Now as you turn your hand around, you're going to use the pressure to push it in like this. And now turn this hand around, now, but of course this is the angle that you would need, boom. So here, here, all right, and lift your hand a little bit up like that, boom. And now as I come back down, I'm pu pushing with the pinky and the palm of the hand back into palm, so now you could grab it from here, and now I can go ahead and produce it. Here, take your time, place it back, and then produce the card, okay? Boom. All right, now also play around with not just catching it like this, but imagine if the spectator holds out their hand and they catch it just right in between their hands. What if you have it on the table or the deck is on the table like this and then it shoots out from the deck? These are all stuff that I've played around with, but I will leave the creativity up to you. Once you get this down, you could do a lot with it, okay? So again, be natural, talk, blah, blah, blah. Come here, talk again, palm to palm transfer, and then produce, and then was that your card? Boom, unbelievable. They run away screaming and crying and that is the production so we have come to the end of the video thank you so much for sticking around i hope you learned a little bit about me if you have your own questions to ask go ahead put them in the comments below i'm always going to try to do these videos so hopefully i get to answer your question and other than that i think that is it i'm going to go enjoy this awesome sunset have an amazing day everybody and we will see you on the next video peace